Bonjour, Monsieur Dom. Comment ça va? Je m'appelle. Uh, sorry, uh, I'll do it in English. What's up, everyone? My name is Nick, and today I'd like to tell you about my journey over the past week with my family here in beautiful Europe. And additionally, I would like to tell you a little bit about our family home here in France in this beautiful village called Lunas. All right, without any further ado, let's get this video started. This is Global Given. <laughs> Now, if you've watched my previous video about my trip here in Europe, then you know that I'm traveling with my wife, my beautiful son of 11 months old, very small baby, and I'm traveling with my parents. We're traveling through Europe because I wanted to see some more of Europe. So, we, uh, we spent some time in Barcelona, and after Barcelona, we traveled through the Pyrenees, one of the most beautiful regions here in Europe. It is a beautiful mountainous area between Spain and France and the mountains here, they are so intense and this provides stunning views as you drive through the region. We spent two nights in a little Airbnb on the French side of the Pyrenees and we visited a medieval village called Villefranche de Conflans. Look at that, they even have a mushroom festival here. But not today, unfortunately. So this is something that we, me and my dad, we have never seen this before in our, in our lives. This is an exposition about mushrooms. What? But now, I am in Lunas. So a little backstory here. So as a kid, I would always travel on summer holidays Well, my parents took me and my brother uh, camping. And because of that, our whole family, we just, we just love France. It's so nice, so diverse, all these little villages, mountains, beaches, rivers. It's so beautiful here. So eventually my parents decided that they didn't want to go camping every year. So they decided to look for maybe a place to buy, like a, a holiday home. So they did, they were looking around France for a beautiful spot and, well, as you can see, they found one of the most beautiful spots right here in the south of France, near Montpellier, and this village is called Lunas. So my parents bought a house here many years ago and now they spend most of their time uh, here in this beautiful village. Now I'll show you the house later on in the video. First, let's explore this 1,000 year old village. So let's start at the beginnings. Here on this hill overlooking the village Lunas once stood a powerful castle called Le Redondet. So I'm standing on the site where a thousand years ago stood once this majestic castle. Now, as you can see, there is not much left of this castle called Le Redondel because it was eventually destroyed, but I'll get back to that later. The first time that this castle was mentioned in any writing was in 1909, which obviously means that this castle was built before that. So these little remnants of this castle, these little old walls of old bricks or, well, stones back then. These have been stacked up for probably over 1200 years. Now that's a very long time ago. Now, this used to be one of the most powerful castles in the whole region. And after wars, there were many wars of course here with, you know, neighboring regions. And eventually in the year 1627, if I'm correct, it was decided that this castle should be destroyed because it was too powerful. And this happened after a five week siege. So people within this castle were, you know, besieged upon by an army who stood outside and cut off all their supplies. So they were stuck up on this hill for five weeks and after that they gave up and eventually they destroyed this castle and a new castle was allowed to be built down in the village.
Oh, hey. Now, let's make our way down to another very old structure here in the village called the Chapel of Saint Georges. Here we go. Chapelle Saint Georges, art pre romain, 5th to 6th century. What? Woo. Hey, so this is the chapel of Saint George, Saint Georges, and uh, it was built in the 5th or 6th century, which means that this little structure here, this building, well, whatever's left over, has been here for 15. 1500 years, 1500 years. I think this is probably the oldest still standing structure here in Lunas. This is always what I like about France that things are so old here. And old doesn't mean 80 years old or 100, 2 or 300 years old. Now, old here means a thousand or fifteen hundred years old. Wow, such a long history. You can't even fathom, right? All right, now it is time to explore the village. Let's go. If you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, you probably know that I like visiting graveyards because every culture has different styles of graves. So here in Lunas, another beautiful graveyard, very peaceful, beautiful views. And they've got these huge crypts, these, these houses where whole families are buried together. Beautiful, beautiful graveyard. Uh, excuse me, are you not subscribed yet? What's keeping you? Click that subscribe button. Come on! So, um, I'm at the lakes of Lunas and there's a lot of animals here. There's ducks, there's swans over there, but I'm looking for that one unique animal called the, well, in Dutch it's Beverrat. Uh, what was it in English again? One second. Yep, Google told me it's Nutria in English, and it's uh, it looks like a beaver, also looks a bit like a rat. It's a rodent, so uh, it's considered a type of rat, I guess. But it looks like a beaver, such a cool animal. And I've seen it here. Let's, uh, let's look for it. Unfortunately, I did not see the Nutria, but I definitely made a new friend. I don't know if he wants to attack me or what's going on here, but I'll uh, call him Bobby. Good to meet you, Bobby. But yeah, unfortunately, no Nutria, so I just have to show you a picture. So this, this is what a Nutria looks like. Told you, looks like a beaver and looks like a rat. All right, let's get, uh, get to the village. Whew. See you, Bobby. So even though Lunas is a fairly small village, there are two or three restaurants here, including the one in the castle, in the manor. And there is a boulangerie here, a bakery. There is a little pub here, a bar, and uh, a kindergarten, a post office, and a tiny mini mart, tiny supermarket. But most of them are closed because it's winter time coming and then they just changed their opening times. It's all right. So here we are. This is downtown Lunas, the centre-ville. Now, this is Chateau de Lunas, the new castle. And all the way up there, that used to be Le Redonde. So earlier on, I mentioned that in the 
16th century, the big castle up on the hill, all the way up there, it was demolished. So they got rid of that and they were allowed to build a new castle right here, but in the village. So this is the new Chateau Lunas, built in uh, 1627, if I'm right. It's beautiful, it's a restaurant. Now, when you walk out the village, along a small street called Route de Nice, you'll pass by our house, our little French house here in Nunas. But first, we're gonna walk all the way straight along that little, uh, little street to a place that has a freshwater spring that is really good for your eyes. And there is a beautiful church somewhere along that street. Yeah, so that, that is our house. But first, we're gonna continue walking along this road to a fresh water spring. Good for your eyes. All right, we walked about uh, three kilometers. My wife just woke up, I picked her up from the house. And we are now at Fontaine des Jeux. Fountain of youth. No, the fountain for the eyes. Let's go check it out. So we're here at the Fountain of the Eyes, and there's a lot of pieces of cloth here. Meg, where do you think all these uh, pieces of cloth are hanging here? I think it's a symbol, like Fountain of the Eyes, or you like weeping, so you cry and you wipe off the tears. Maybe, maybe. My thought is that people will take a piece of cloth that they have on them, dip it in the water, put it on their eyes, and then they hang it up. But this was on the way. There's underwear. Well, yeah, if you don't have any other piece of cloth, you can take off your underwear. Where is the underwear? Oh, here. Some underwear hanging as well. Why not? Any piece of cloth you have with you, rip it off, dip it in the fountain, dab it on your eyes, and all your eyesight will be perfect again. Oh, I so, this need is it. the fountain. Oh, I can see you. I see you. So, leave a comment and leave a like, okay? I see you. All right, it's getting really cold and it's starting to rain, but we're here at Notre Dame de Nice, the, the church of the Nice. This little valley here is called the Nice. The road is called Route de Nice. And this is a beautiful little church, even though there's almost no houses around here. Ah, oh, lovely, it's starting to rain. We did not expect that. Okay, what to do? It's fine. Get a little wet. Okay. It's getting really cold. So the first time that this church was ever mentioned was in 1100 and something, which means that this building is older than that. That means this beautiful little church is over 900 years old. I think they're restoring it now. It looks a bit newer. I think people are actually living in here. Well, beautiful little spot in the jungle, in the jungle of France. Beautiful forest here. Well, let's go inside. All right, so we have arrived at the house. So this is the, uh, the back of the house that uh, faces the beautiful little stream, little river here, super cold. You cannot swim in it, it's like one degree. But first, let me show you the garden because a couple of days ago, I helped my dad build a cool deck. And yes, it's not that far from the house, it's just across the stream. And this is their garden, how nice. Can you imagine when the weather is good? Unlike today, it's very cold. Got a bit of a sore throat as well. <coughs> but uh, yeah, this is their garden. And that's the deck we built. Looks good already. It's probably gonna come on, have a little roof on top. This is an area for a swimming pool. So can you imagine relaxing here in the summer? You got beautiful mountains at the back. Wow, my parents really are living the life. Maybe I should come and live here as well. Look who is here. <laughs> hey Milo, high five, high five, ah. yay! 
So yeah, this is basically the courtyard of the house and uh, I'm not gonna show too much of uh, insides because, uh, oh, privacy, privacy. But uh, let's see if my parents are here. Hello. Hello, Mene Janssen. Hi there. Woo. And my lady Magdalene and Milo. Milo, you still having fun? All right, a lot of walking today. I had a lot of fun uh, showing everyone uh, beautiful Lunas. Yeah, Milo, you're definitely going to be here a lot in the future because it's also your house. All right, well, I guess this is the end of the video. I hope uh, you learned a little bit about this beautiful little town, Lunas, in the south of France. And uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Leave a like for Milo. If you like Milo, leave a like. Right, Milo? Yes! Alright, this is it. We'll see you again next week. I think it's time for a nap. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <sighs> by the way, if uh, you want to support our channel, go to uh, buymeacoffee.com slash global gibbon, and that's what you can do. You can buy me and my little coffee. Bye bye. Coffee for my love. Oh,